what you can do is you can do like for instance the um, you know on the G string you have open three five six and seven and then on the D string you have open three and five and so what you can do is there's there's all kinds of cool little tricks and I want you to besides mm -hmm. any licks that you already know in the pentatonic scale you can start to uh, incorporate some of these ideas playing the G string and then you're gonna pull off on the third and on the fifth and then even on the sixth and even on the seven if you want and then on the D string you can do the three and the five and that's gonna go along with the pentatonic or the blues scale that you're already working on you know with your licks and stuff like that. see that you can just immediately you know emphasize those open D and G strings even just within your regular pentatonic check it out see that so instead of in a normal kind of pentatonic run you might go but with the open G with the open G string you could go So then another thing is you could do an open D string and then hammer on 3-5 like and I like that a lot. Then you could even go, you can do it on the G string, but I like this one a lot too. So I went open, hammer 3-5 on the D, hammer don't hurt him, and then I got index finger on the third fret of the G and I'm just going to pull it off to open. <laughs> 